Hi y'all, this is Sheila from Designs My Baby Moon, and I'm going to show you today how to stitch up this really cute um, ID badge holder wallet that has a cute front pocket for your driver's license or for your badge, access badge. It also has a side zipper, which is super fun. Ah. And then um, it also has a pocket on the back that you can add, you don't have to, but the pocket on the back lets you, while it's hanging from whatever you're doing, just put something you need to get real quickly. So um, let's make this together. I've already got a placement stitch on my stabilizer that shows where your zipper needs to go and then a guideline for the pocket later if you're gonna add that. The zipper is actually gonna fit in between these two lines on the side. So because it's a side zipper, the zipper is technically not on the side, but it is on the side. And so what you wanna make sure you do is you put your zipper so that the teeth if you hold it up to the light, you can see the placement lines. The teeth are right between these two lines right here. Now this is all written into the instructions, but you could also look on the back and make sure that your teeth through your stabilizer, you can see them right in the middle. And then you can use a little bit of tape to secure your zipper there. I'm using a zipper that's um, seven inches long. You could use um, a six inch zipper if you're really careful. I like to stay way out of the way. I don't want any metal getting anywhere near my needle. So I'm using a seven inch zipper and I've just got it taped down out of the way. And I'm gonna run the next step, which is a tack down of the zipper lines, the zipper sides. So I went up one side. It's gonna give you the opportunity to go down up the other side and I have this stitching going the same way on both sides because sometimes when this stitching comes back down the other side um, your zipper will work a little bit and we don't want the zipper to get off center at all we want it to go smoothly so it goes the same way down both sides now our zipper is tacked down to the stabilizer so it won't move the next thing I have is a piece of material that's going to be the front of my pouch and I'm going to cover the placement stitching and this edge right here is nice and straight and so I'm gonna make sure that it is right against or slightly away from this the teeth of the zipper you can add a little bit more tape if you want to make sure it doesn't move but the next step will tack well it will attach the material to the zipper and it's only going to stitch a line up the side of the zipper because we don't want a whole lot of bulk in this bag because it's um, if you do add the back pocket, that's a lot of layers. So I'm just going to make sure that stays right where I want it. Okay, and it's secured on there. While that's stitching, I'm going to get my clear piece of vinyl ready to be the pocket. The next step is gonna stitch a placement so we know where to put our pocket. Okay, and for the pocket, I have a piece of clear vinyl. It's hard to see because it's clear, so it's practically invisible, but I'm gonna put a, this, the straight edge of the vinyl that's bigger than it needs to be. The measurements are all listed in the, de the design instructions. If you need measurements or you can just eyeball it, it needs to cover the, um, an area where the pocket's going to be. If you want to, you could run that and then stitch over it again. But um, I'm an eyeballer and so I've done this design now like six times and so I know that it needs to at least touch, it can go up to the zipper and it needs to go off the edge which from the placement is off the bag, but um, it just needs to be that big. And the next step will hold this clear onto the bag. And if your clear is wrinkly at all, um, you could use a hair dryer to shoot it with a little bit of hot air and get those wrinkles out. I find that the clear is really nice and easy to work with a lot. Okay, now that clear pocket is done, and let me grab my scissors so we can, I can show you how to trim that clear off a little bit. 
Okay, now I'm going to take my scissors. So it's still in the hoop. I haven't taken it off my sheet. And I'm just going to open my scissors and slice, let them glide through this clear plastic to leave a nice edge. Um, I'm actually, no, I'm going to do that one too. Um, I'm just kind of lifting the corner of the elastic and sliding, putting my scissor blades in there and just letting, instead of chopping, you know, opening and closing your scissors, I'm going to let my, the blade of the scissors just kind of slide through this clear plastic or the clear vinyl. And it leaves a great edge and it's not all chop, chop, chopping. Okay. The next stitch that the machine will do is a placement stitch so that you know where to put the tab for the hardware if you're going to use hardware. Okay, and I've got a piece about three inch of fold over elastic and a mini lobster clip. These lobster clips, I get them on eBay from the same guy I get my regular size lobster clips, clasps for snap tabs from, but these are a little bit smaller. They're three eighths of an inch inside and they fit fold over elastic really well. Um, and so I just looped it around the hardware. I have the hardware facing in toward the middle of the bag and I'm gonna, s now it's not really a tack down, it's kind of a hold down really good stitch. I let that hold down really good. Okay, now the next step that the bag is ready for is the backing. And because this has an optional pocket, that means it's got three layers of vinyl. So you can do this a couple of different ways. Um, you can skip this step altogether and not have an open pocket on the back. Um, you could put the pocket a different way, but this placement line right here that you can see from the edge of your bag, and I'm gonna trim off the extra of this side of the vinyl. Um, I know kind of a little bit how much I need. I'm gonna trim that away. Maybe a little bit more so I can see where that line is. Um, this line, we'll look on the back, this line right here is labeled on your um, uh, it's labeled on your diagram to show you where the pocket is going to go underneath the main fabric. So this will be on the outside. When you flip it, your back will be here. Your pocket will go up to here. And so the way you construct that is the, well, we're gonna unzip our zipper a little way first because this is the last step. We're gonna unzip our zipper just about, let's take that tape off, down to here. I'm gonna put the zipper tab facing up toward the middle of the bag so it's out of the way. Um, because um, this is a side zip zipper bag, that is close, but I've done it on three, uh, two different machines today already and it's done fine for me. So I'm gonna put the pocket face down up to, or close to up to, this zipper, this placement line right here that goes across the top. It doesn't go all the way up to the top of the bag. It's actually a little bit, it's just barely above the pocket line for the clear pocket so if you can't see it on both sides you can use the pocket line to kind of help you guide that and I'm gonna lay it right there and then I'm gonna take the last piece and put it also face down on top of that pocket covering all of the placement so that it's it's covering the top of the bag and the bottom of the bag and I'm gonna run this last step Now, you've made sure that your zipper is pointed up. You've made sure that your hardware is to the middle of the bag. And we're going to run that last step. Okay, so that there's a little bit of bulk there. Um, so just notice that this is going to run around twice to make sure that it, it has enough tack down. I had a ruffle there. That's not good but it'll be okay because it'll catch it at the end. So it'll be just fine.
All right, we're done. Now, let's cut this out and we'll get rid of the stabilizer on the back so we can open it up and flip it inside out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear away most of the stabilizer from the outside. Because of the placement lines, um, you will have to remove a little bit of stitching if you want to tear everything away completely. These extra placement guides kind of um, hold your stabilizer a little bit more. And so some of those placements come up with the stabilizer if you're tearing everything away, but just trim it away, go slow. Um, I like to use a stabilizer that really tears away really easily when I'm doing zipper bags. The stabilizer that tears away the easiest is from World Widener, and I don't really like it for general embroidery because it does tear away so easily, but I like it for zipper bags because it does tear easily. So I'm gonna put, when we have the zipper opening, I'm just gonna slice in there with my scissors a little bit just to give me something to grab so I can pull it away from the zipper. And you could remove the rest of the stabilizer if you wanted to, but for time's sake, I'm not going to. I am gonna get rid of that tape. And then I'm gonna trim all around the outline, leaving a little bit extra at the zipper area, but not too much. Um, I'm giving myself about a little bit more than an eighth of an inch all the way around. You don't want a lot of bulk because we are going to be flipping three layers of vinyl around. And I'm not cutting any away from the zipper part side at all. I'm just going to go right up against the next ed edge of the zipper. Leave a little bit more of the zipper and then kind of go back in. Okay, and then if I was, if I had a little more time, I would spend more time cleaning up those threads, making sure that there's not a lot of thread and this opening is you can see our hardware in there we've got two layers on this side so we want to make sure these two layers go together so you're going to make sure you can see your hardware and flip the hardware and the pocket inside out okay so i'm using three layers this fine this final that i'm using is the glitter gem this is the no not glitter gem geo glitter from my punk board dream. And I think this color is called lilac, maybe. So you just kind of have to tell the bag what to do. And poke out your corners really good. So they're rounded, so that makes it easier to come up. I kind of turn that one to the inside right there. And this is our top with the tab. And I'm smoothing this out and pushing this out together. I'm actually going to use the end of these pliers to get that out a little bit. Sometimes the thicker vinyls are a little bit harder to turn. Um, I did it in one of the other bags that I did. I used a, a vinyl that was much firmer than this. And while it was a little bit of a pain, it wasn't terrible. I mean, it was able to be done. Um, but you just have to work at it. There it comes. And get that corner out. Okay, and now you can zip it up all the way. Got a nice zipper, a nice edge. And again, if you're wrinkled after turning, you can hit it with a hair dryer. But your bag is done. That's it. So you have a back pocket. You have a clippy on the top. You have a front pocket. And you have your zipper. And that's it. And you could add a tassel to your zipper. Um, you could uh, use this as a badge holder to hold your work badge. Um, you could put, you can put pencils or what you need in the back um, and then clip it wherever you need to or use it as a mini wallet and clip it on your keys. So that's it. I hope that was helpful and I hope that yours come out as cute as that. Thanks for watching.